literally have no idea how I'm doing this. <gasps> oh, fun times. I'm just glad I did something. Hello, my lovelies. Today I'm coming at you with some more heatless curls. We're testing the Acto Curl. I found this on Amazon. It retails for, I think, $24. 99 and the reason why I got this because it looked promising you can do this on damp or even dry hair That's why I have dry hair today because the last curl I did I did them with damp hair and it took a little over an hour to dry them completely So today I'm going to try to accomplish a faster method of getting or achieving heatless curls And like I said, this looked promising. It looks interesting. So Let's try it out and it literally looks it looks like a rag. Yes Schwabra <laughs> It's kind of like a mop, a do-it-yourself mop. But this looks cool, I guess. I mean, it looks cheap. Let's just put it that way. So you have a total of 16 or bigger eight sections with these little pieces at the end, kind of elastic, to help tie the ends of your hair so they don't fall off. But let's put this in our hair. I'm going to time it for roughly, let's do 20 minutes. That way, if you are doing this in the morning, you can do your makeup really quickly. I need to fix my nails because I broke my nail yesterday. I am not flipping you off. This is my ring finger. I broke it really bad. So we are mourning the loss of my fingernails and I had to trim the rest of them. I need to fix them. So I'm gonna fix them while this is doing its thing. I'm going to pair it with my little bonnet. <laughs> to kind of help the curls do its thing a little bit faster. So that way, with a hair dryer set at the coldest heat setting, that way there's no heat involved, it's just the air flowing onto the hair. I wanna see what happens, so let's do this. Let's put it into my hair and hopefully this works. This little part right here, this little elastic piece goes in the front. So the one thing I am kind of worried about, is it going to leave a crease in my hair? So far, it's not too tight, it's very comfortable. And I guess I'm just gonna start wrapping hair around. So just taking the hair and I'm just taking smaller sections. Or should I take bigger sections? I should probably take a little bit bigger. I feel like this is too small. Let's take a little bit of a bigger section. I'm just gonna wrap the hair around, going away from my face. Okay, and then I, I guess we take the bottom and then we just kind of tie it just like that. Yeah, seems about right. And then we're gonna take the next section and I'm just gonna continue doing this. So like I said, I'm going to be using all 16 of them because I want a little bit more of a tighter curl. Literally have no idea how I'm doing this. Okay, yeah, that works, I guess. So I think the trick to secure it is to go at least three times around the bottom to secure it, to keep it nice and tight with this little band. See, I'm just taking once, twice, and then the third time. Okay. Yep, I think, right? Yeah, it looks secure. The one thing I do wanna say, you are not gonna get nice curls towards the top of your head, so if this is what you're looking for, for heatless curls, this is not gonna be for you. You're only gonna get a curl halfway down your head just because of where it's sitting. I guess it is more of like a super natural curl or wave, so we'll see what that looks like. I'm excited, I really hope it's gonna look good. Andre, what are your predictions? Do you think it's gonna look good? Or do you think this is a waste of time? I think it's gonna give those beachy waves. It's not gonna give you any curl. But we like beachy waves around here. No, not the type you do. When you do beachy waves, you actually have curl in them. Yeah. It's just gonna be like a- Very subtle type of look. Very subtle waves, yeah. I mean, you're not doing it damp either. Yeah. Well, I wanna see what we can accomplish in 20 minutes with straight and dry hair and see if this actually does anything. Now that I have all of them done, I'm going to redo these first two just because I'm gonna retie them three times and do it a little bit tighter. So I think that was a trick, trying to wrap the hair a little bit tighter around. Okay, I see what it's doing. It's gonna look kind of like braided curls. All 
All right, so we are going to improvise with this whole bonnet. I'm gonna scratch that completely, but I am going to warm these up for a couple of minutes in each section. Not a couple of minutes, maybe like 30 seconds for each section. Just warm them up on the lowest heat setting with the lowest flow setting. Just because they do say if you wanna refresh your hair on your second or third day, you can use OctoCurl with dry hair, but warming hair wraps with a hair dryer and then allow it to cool or set and then remove the octo curl and style as usual. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna warm my hair with the hair dryer, warm it up, let it do its thing, and then I'm gonna set them by cooling them off for roughly 15 to 20 minutes and then I will come back and hopefully something will happen and maybe it will look good, we'll see. My only reservation is because this is so low, the curls are gonna look really weird because it's so straight and flat up at the top. That's what I was worried about from the beginning. That was a couple of minutes of warming up the curls. So now I'm gonna take my phone and set the timer for 15 or 20 minutes. Let's do 20 minutes. Let them really cool and set, and then we'll come back, and like I said, I'll take them out and hopefully something happens. It's been 20 minutes. Let's check this out. Did you guys put your predictions down below? Is it gonna look good? I really hope so. Yep, my prediction was correct. Just braid your hair. <gasps> oh, fun times. I'm just glad I did something. <laughs> Andre's so quiet. <laughs> I just can't wait to take this off to see what happens at the very top of my head. All right, I think I grabbed everything. Moment of truth. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> Looking at these curls or lack thereof, they look very similar and I think you can definitely accomplish something better than this with just simple braids, either Dutch braids or a French braid. And I think you could do this either going before to the gym or even after the gym and just kind of letting it set in your hair. Take it out and you'll create gorgeous heatless curls without any heat. And I actually have a video on showing you guys how I did it and I just do it overnight, very simple. You can either do it on damp hair or dry hair. Dry hair obviously is gonna be a lot faster. With damp hair, I prefer to sleep overnight and they're very comfortable to sleep with and you get very similar type of curls. Like they're very tight, but a lot better starting from the very top of your head, <laughs> going to the very bottom. So it's more uniform and it looks better in my opinion. So this was a super simple, really quick test that I wanted to see if I could get something in 20 minutes on dry hair, I wanted curls that were tight and not loose waves. So in 20 minutes, I don't think you can accomplish this. It's not against this particular product because I think you can make this product work if A, your hair is damp and you do sleep with them overnight, or B, you make the curls a little bit more tight and you add a lot more heat for at least like an hour or so, and then you let them set and then cool off for at least 30 minutes to really let it work with the heat. But for 20 minutes, I think this was a fail not the actual product, just this method of really making something work in 20 minutes. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you have tried this product before, but for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.